Hi guys, um, I wanted to just have this out there for those that were going to be gone tomorrow so you can see how this can is going to crush. Um, not using physical force, I am instead going to utilize air pressure. So what we've got going on here, and you'll have to excuse the setup, oh, malfunctions. Okay, so I've got my pop can on the heater. What happened was first off, this is an empty can, there's nothing in it, and the top part is open. And notice beforehand, nothing's happening. It's not crushing inward, nothing weird's going on. That's because the pressure on the inside equals the outside. And because we have this hole up at the top and it's open, it's allowing the pressures to still be the same. So even though I might be changing what's going on on the inside right now, that hole is still there. So air can get in and out if it really needs to. So that's why we're not really noticing any crunching going on yet. Okay, and I have a little bit of water in there and I've been boiling it on my hot plate. And the whole purpose of the boiling of the water is I'm trying to replace the air that was in the can first, um, trying to drive it out and replace it with the water vapor, the steam that's coming off of that water that's evaporating because of the high heat. So if you can imagine, you can see the steam coming up out of the top. Imagine that's the air being forced out. We really want to get as much air out of that before we move on to our crunching. So in here, I just have some cold water. I'm going to try to remove some of these ice cubes um, so that they don't get in the way. And then I've got my trusty tongs. Of course, they're under my thing here. Okay, so of course you want to use tongs. Okay, this is metal on a hot plate. It's wooden boiling. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly take my boiling can of uh, water here. It doesn't have much really in there. I only put like that much water in it. Um, and it's been boiling for a while now. But you don't want to wait until it's completely dry. Okay, so I'm going to tip it up and invert it on the inside so that the um, hole at the top is completely covered with the water. And let's cross our fingers. There you go. The powers. Okay, so, and now that I'm doing this, notice how I'm touching it very easily. It's not hot, it's cold, it cooled it down immediately. And what happened was I sealed the top part of this so that when it was upside down, what the, the cold water was making that steam condense. Remember cold, we learned yesterday, um, naturally wants to kind of shrink in and condense. So all of that water vapor was wanting to squeeze inward and it didn't have a way to equalize and bring air from that open spaces in through the bottom because we sealed it up. So the cold made it condense and it became much lower in pressure than normal. So lower pressure on the inside. The room stayed the same, but because the room is now so much greater in pressure than our new lower pressure on the inside of the can, the can crushed in. So. There you go. Science at its best.